the four purushartha principle dharma arth kama mokta i think if we can bring this in a contextual way in a contemporary way to people's life that your pursuit for for finance for material resources should be based in dharma that's the only thing we are saying right if your pursuit of earning money so there is no bar on earning money please earn your as much wealth as you want make sure your pursuit of earning wealth is rooted in dharma if we can if we can start to teach or train the world about this yeah so that's one thing the other thing in corporate india shivi i see a lot of positive change happening you know almost every big company now has a csr division almost every big company now you know funding some forest uh, or or funding some activity to clean up the river etc their brand value is now getting associated with their uh, green footprint values as consumers also consumers have started questioning that are you a company which is spoiling the forest next door if you are that then i'm not consuming your product right this consciousness is awakening in both the corporate world and the consumers right we need to fuel this more and more third there's a whole wave of minimalism coming in the world which is a very good wave huh? people are understanding and as i was mentioning earlier even during pandemic you know people understood they can't save somebody's life some a loved one life no matter how much money they have let's redefine the 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 definition of luxury and comfort itself you know people thought living in a multi story house in the middle of a city is luxury but we have been seeing and we've been proven that you can't even breathe there properly is that luxury yeah as i'm saying people have started questioning these things that what is luxury is not drinking fresh water breathing absolute pristine air eating fresh food is that not luxury and i think i'm meeting more and more people who whose definition of luxury and comfort have started to change shivi if this trend we are as i said if this trend this this wave if we can you know exponential exponentially put lot of focus energy narration in this wave you know you will see that economic activity will start to balance themselves yeah i'll give you another example that there are a lot of businesses who are just not about greed you know in 1870 when jamshed ji tata started the whole tata empire the first of its kind you will be surprised that they were the first one to introduce schemes like employee provident fund esi uh, you know employee medical welfare etc when it was not part of even the government system a corporation brought that the fixed working hours for you know their employees they brought all of these welfare schemes uh, they brought the parameters that we will not encroach on nature yeah we will only take so much of nature and then we will uh, refill the nature so to say 100 years ago they started doing that of course in between lot of greed took over um, in the business not their business but in all businesses yeah but i'm seeing this trend is reversing itself Uh, and again where is the root of all of this the root of all of this are we conscious the moment you and i become conscious you know spiritually little awakened all of these things will start to take care of themselves yeah to me that is the root of everything you know as we say in hinduism atma is the root of everything huh? i'm rephrasing it i'm saying your conscious awakening is the root to everything if that is fixed if that is fixed your emotional well being will be fixed if that is fixed your mental well being will be fixed if that is way fixed your physical well being will be fixed that is how the the entire thing flows not the other way around yeah we just need to reverse this trend from the physical now the physical has come on the forefront i am saying this adhyatma the spiritual the the conscious awakening must come on the forefront and then we must lead life uh, in the fullness of it with the absolute abundance of it Yeah. Mm-hmm.